Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I have exciting things here tonight. Another unboxing. I just uh, recently did a um, Speckled Fawns, Rustic Kodiak, Coyote Ugly, Traveler's Notebook. And I'm really, really enjoying that. It's a very nice leather that I love the feel of. Well, so I was also following um, this other YouTuber, Helen Colebrook from um, Journal with Purpose. I really love her pages and how she um, designs her Traveler's Notebook pages, um, memory keeping, kind of journaling type pages. And she had mentioned that her Traveler's Notebook was one by a company called Start Bay Traveler's Notebooks from England. And I love England, anything related to England. Um, I'm into all the the Jane Austen stuff and I visited a friend there and I I just love the history of of the country and the beauty of it and the the variety of landscape there and I wish wish I could go back again but anyway so when I heard that you could order a traveler's notebook from Devon I was like okay that would be super fun to get something from a part of the world that I really like so this is kind of cool I mean the packaging has Queen Elizabeth on the label and it's royal mail so look at that but I know it's just what they call it but I just think that's really fun to have something that has that on it and it's from Devon United Kingdom and it's Start Bay Notebook so the, these guys um, super quick with their order I'm guessing they have a lot on stock so you just order it and the only time involved really is the amount of time it takes for it to ship. Um, it's not like they're making it by order. It's just there. And I just ordered a basic notebook that they offered. But I'm excited to have it, so I thought I would do an unboxing. So this was delivered earlier today. I was out running errands and spending some time with my daughter-in-law and grandkids and a friend and her kids. <clears throat> when I got home, my husband said, oh, by the way, a package came for you, but nobody was here to get it. He has his business at home he was on the phone and my other kids were not available so I was like oh drat now I have to go to the post office but it ended up being a non-issue it was right there and so I didn't want to wait any longer than I had to already to do the unboxing since I was delayed a little bit this morning with or this afternoon with actually opening it or doing a, an unboxing then so it's got this basic packaging bubble wrap, the addictive substance that we all love. Let's try to snip this loose without hopefully scratching the notebook. Now so the funny thing is I ordered this and then I was like okay why am I ordering this? What do I need another notebook for? I'm perfectly happy with the one I have and I have a household one now which keeps our like passwords and giving accounts and so forth anyway that was in my old TN that I switched out of but I really wanted the one from England I've been thinking about how I'm going to use it and I think I want to do it as sort of a um like a daily diary kind of thing like for example today we went to the park or today we went and visited so and so just kind of a record of daily happenings. I have an Omni journal that I'm using a Moleskine expanded for. That's sort of my creative outlet journal, my reflective journal. I have my spiritual one that's in my new rustic Kodiak and that's like my prayer and gratitude and, and things like that. They're kind of grouped by how my brain works I guess or how I think of things. Um, but I thought I don't really have a place to journal everyday happenings unless I wanted to do that in my Omni Journal. But I wanted to be a little bit more creative like Helen is, Helen Colbrook from Journal with Purpose. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to maybe get a notebook like the one she uses and see how that works. So this is cool. It says, thank you for choosing Start Bay Notebooks. It's handmade from full grain vegetable tanned leather. As such, it retains all of the strength of the leather and gives a surface that is full of character that will age beautifully with time and handling. 
and then it mentions it will have some imperfections, but that's just part of the character of it, which I would totally 100% agree with. The inside of the leather is thoroughly dyed for durability, but may have similar imperfections. So this little cool little notice will go in my junk journal. I will put that over to the side. I have a little basket here I'll just show you real quick before we get into the journal, but I just throw stuff in here that I receive or whatever, just stuff, maybe a sticker or a label that I think is pretty. Here's some wrapping paper from a friend. Anyway, I throw stuff in there and then when I have time, I go through my junk journal and put all this kind of memorabilia, memorabilia in. So you might be thinking, well, why do you need this notebook if you're already junk journaling? And I'm getting sidetracked, but let me show you my junk journal. It's getting super thick. Um, I have a few more pages that I can put memorabilia in. I like that. I really think, I really come to value the memory keeping um, significance lately, um, more so than in the past. Anyway, I've always liked doing it, but now I, I'm kind of seeing the worth of that when you leave behind some history for your family or your friends. So, anyway, that journal takes more visible memories. What I'm thinking of doing in here is writing out stuff and just maybe making some beautiful pages or more an artistic look to journaling what we might do in a day or what I might do in a day. So to notice this has got a nice brown elastic. I I'm really always prefer the brown. Just goes with everything and I, I like browns. And I'm noticing too the leather is much stiffer than my new rustic Kodiak. That's a very soft floppy leather. It kind of molds to the books and it feels really good almost like squishy in your hands. This has more structure. So I, I don't know if it'll stand on this towel here but you know it it's got that where it holds its own. I like this look though. It's got these um, little lines in the leather. And then here's the uh, cool little stamping. I think that's kind of fun when companies add that. Start Bay is in Devon, or I think Helen said East Devon, so I need to do a little research, but I know that's more south in England on the coast, I believe. Um, yeah, I'm sure it is. So in here it has, let's see, four four elastics, and these are much thinner. So I don't know that that's an issue or not. They're just thinner than this leather. And you can see where, not leather, elastic, the thicker one is the one that holds it shut, and then there's thinner ones to hold the inserts. And since I, I don't think I'll get real thick with it, that'll probably be fine there. They tied it off, and it's a nice small knot and it's been like glued or melted or something so it won't unravel. So that's handy. So it's really very basic. I guess you would just say it's classic style. This is very smooth here. And they did mention on the little flyer that, um, I'll see, the inside surface is, oh, I don't know, I can't find it now. Oh, the inside is through dyed for durability. So I don't know all those terms. I know some of them. Basically, it has a finish on it that will help it hold up. But you can see some of the natural markings in here, perhaps, if the glare isn't too much to figure out my lighting a little better. So I'm excited to use that. I, I like this. I'm, I'm really having fun trying out some different leathers. I am not going to end up with a collection of 30 or more traveler's notebooks. I know some people like that and it, it's their hobby and that's awesome and I, I could definitely see the obsession. I mean I thought one was going to be enough. Now I think I have four if you count my Amazon little inexpensive one. This one is just a decoration on my craft shelf right now because I haven't figured out if I want to use that but I wanted to see what that size was like. So I did buy that. It may end up being a gift to somebody who wants that size or I can do some kind of trade with someone. 
But anyhow, I'm enjoying trying these different leathers, and I can see how people get their own opinion on what they like. If you like this stiffer leather, you're probably not going to like my early one by Leather Planners Plus, which was really floppy. It was thick, but it was very floppy. It had a sturdy reinforced spine, but the actual leather didn't hold its own at all, where this does. I mean, this doesn't really do anything. It's not going to bend or flop around. And I think it'll hold the inserts nicely. And these are just hole punched, or however they do that, but they're not like lined with an eyelet. I have one that has eyelets. And I think it'll hold, you know, four really easily. So there. Start Bay Notebooks. Let me make sure I have the yeah, Start Bay Notebooks. So you can find them. Um, just Google them and they'll send it to you. I mean, it was, gosh, a week, if that long. It was really, really quick in getting here. So that that made it fun. I had to wait a long time for the Rustic Kodiak, which is understandable, handmade and all that. But it was fun to get one quicker and then I can start playing around with these different leathers. Um, if you're watching and you have any recommendations on um, a place I can go to to just read a YouTuber or even a blog or some kind of post that explains the different leather terminologies and the different kinds and the weights of the leather. I, I'm slowly learning, but I, I, I don't know a lot of it. So I, I would be interested in having some resource so I can read about leathers and decide what I want before I order it. This does have, I think, what they call a burnished edge, or maybe it's been painted, but it's definitely finished. Um, I'm Hope you can see that. I know there's a little bit of reflection from the light, but it's very smooth and you don't see the raw leather. You can see texture through there, but you don't. It's just not raw exposed leather. So there. Very nice. It's got a little crinkle to it. Kind of makes me think of a saddle or something. Um, oh, and it has a great scent. Mmm, I just love that leather aroma. It is so nice. I don't know what it is, but I think it's awesome. Okay, so that's just a quick review. Again, it was Start Bay Notebooks from Devon, United Kingdom. Um, thank you, Helen, from Journal with Purpose for the recommendation on your YouTube videos. Those are awesome to watch, and I hope to aspire to even a small amount of the talent that I'm seeing on some of these. I know it's all an individual thing, and we want to express ourselves and not the style of others, but I do... Um, love her style and it's inspiring to me to be creative so anyway thank you for joining me we will see you next time and have a good evening